Actually, yeah. Shut up. All right, this is worms. No, I mean gondola, you fucking moron. Yeah, I miss, like, I do miss doing the first playthrough of, like, that. It was fun times. I'm still just as equally as bad as when I first played it, because I don't know or remember jack shit in Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, or, and when I probably play Twilight Princess, the same thing is going to be, uh, going to be the same thing. It's going to be me not remembering, I'm going to probably have my friend help me, and it's going to be the same thing as before. I'm dumb as hell when it comes to that, but... At least Wind Waker and Skyward Sword will be like the first first playthroughs when I uh when I play it because I've never uh, played those as well as Breath so the of the Wild. Were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. <sighs> yeah. Oh, ex I'm excited to play it because I did try to start it way back when, but then I just so many things sidetracked so i'm gonna have to like set a time to just to when my friend's around too so he can help me if i ever get stuck as well and also just watch my because he likes to watch it as well so that's when i'm going to try to play it is when he's a little bit more available oh hey it's that fucking thing Erdwin's lantern hey eh? um Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. That was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that. But now I'm not so sure. I mean... If the Lord of Shadows' rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend... Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, <laughs> charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. Heard everything you needed to hear, did you? Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. Yeah, I've never played it. I've never even watched anything on it. I know it's people's most hated and or loved of the series of 50-50. I always hear mix. So it'll be fun for me to play it and see how I feel. On top of, uh, also, I'm hoping to do the Metroid trilogy. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but... Fucking... I'm bad at these types of games, but my friend is helping on me playing it, so eventually it's gonna happen. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? Yeah, there's like the trilogy of it, so there's Prime and whatever the hell the others are called. Two and three. That were for the Wii and GameCube, I think. But they they made like a trilogy or something like that for oh my god this guy's selling old shit. Um, except they made like the trilogy or whatever the hell for um, Wii. So I'm gonna Wii or Wii U or something. So I'm gonna I think it was for the Wii. I'm gonna play that when I uh, down the road as well. I don't need Puff Puff. I did that months back from you, lady. Fucking dancer's costume. Bandit armor. If I really wanted just defense and nothing more. Yeah, Metroid Prime. That's pretty much the reason I'm probably going to play is so I can do Metroid Prime 4 on the Switch down that line. Because I do have a Switch and I definitely want to get more use out of playing some games uh, from it.
Very sad looking circus. And so Vondo left. Like I said, I have a I have a whole list and a link to that list that uh Nightbot did put in the thing that like literally everything I have on my mind that I'm going to play at one point or another on stream. This is upon us to me. And uh just there's a lot. There's a lot of things that I'm like jotting down so I remember that I eventually want to get to. Many games and certain game series to play and just so many things. Good time. My boy, please! Your reckless heroics will get you killed. Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. Hmm? Oh. Ah, it is you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... <laughs> Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Put a shirt on. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? What do you know Such about it, little. laddie? I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the runes more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these runes ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit... Oh, you had guards to stop us from the checkpoint again, huh? <laughs> well, good thing I didn't try to run anywhere. North. Alright, so we're going north. Probably be going for just a little bit longer. I don't plan on going too much longer just because we've been gone for five hours and I'd rather not, while I'm still feeling good, not push it too hard since this whole entire week has been pretty up and down miserable with how I've been feeling. With this whole sickness still kind of looming around me. 
So get a little bit more done and then Jesus. Then probably call it. Oh good, my battery's low. Fucking plug better work then. Uh, I'm not looking forward to going back to work for the weekend. This is gonna suck if I don't kick whatever the hell's kicking my ass. I'm just gonna refresh my capture just real quick. My audio is being all funky. Bum, bum, bum. All right, good. Look at you. Big, bad, and ferocious. Oh, there's a lot of you. They didn't notice the party's presence, as we're standing right in front of them. Kind of weird. Oh, yeah! yeah! Jesus Christ, my ears. This is of evil! Ow. Thank you for that. I didn't really mean to attack with Serena. That doesn't really go... It doesn't really go that far. Sweet, we defeated 2,000 monsters. But hopefully everyone will have a good weekend. Uh, like I said, I don't stream Friday, Saturdays normally, so... Hopefully after I'm done for today, everybody will have a good uh, Friday, Saturday. Yep, uh, I'm paralyzed. Yeah, pretty much that's what my weekend is. Be gone. Helm splitter. Pretty much why I don't uh, stream on the weekends, because I'm busy with the work and all that stuff. Plus, it gives me kind of a mental day or two. Like, I'll work physically, and then mentally I can get re relaxed after a week of streaming and doing video games and stuff, because sometimes my, you know, it makes me a little mentally crazy when I'm just playing games for so long. Thank goodness. <laughs> need, to, need to get out. Platinum Shield. I think I could ride the Headless Horseman, because we killed the Horseman. It's just a horse now. Really don't know what the benefit of riding this is. Maybe we can charge and take out bigger guys. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Dick. Don't call for backup, you got enough.
And he came. Wonderful. Oh, baby. Not where we're going, we're going this way. Fucking ride in on a monster. No, 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 you agreed to do this. Come, we must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, your highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. He looks like, for a prince, he's wearing like a chef, like one of the little chef hats. Not the, not the chef hat, but like... A little one. Do you have Small a white hat. Deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no, but... Oh, Principu! Hello, darling! Long time no see. Silvando! Yeah, hello there. Um, uh, unexpected pleasure. The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy, hmm. Ah, I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sand? The same thing as you, your highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! You know who I am, your highness? But of course! You are my hero! You are every aspiring knight's hero! Oh, he got an instant Sir, erection. Your command is my life's ambition! I am honored, your highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight, wherever or whomever you serve. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Sorry to butt in, your highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. Indeed I was, old man. That fool yeah, the bottom of my dick. scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Well, I think I might be able to help out there. Oh, wow, Nightbot. Look at you finally doing the thing you're supposed to do you still. some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent. I would be very much obliged. The runes can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there. <laughs> Alright. I guess you probably should have brought a horse with you. Yeah, I'll look after him. You went to the center. I know, game. So like fuck that. Oh my god, I'm fighting you. <laughs> it's Jesus Christ. Oh good, his attack increased. And he's gonna attack. Dear fuck. Ow, this sad storm. This is not what I wanted to use, but alright. Do you regret fighting yet? Only when it does shit like that. Not another stand, the sandstorm. I don't even like that song. Oh, Serena, Jesus Christ, my friends! May heaven's wind 
Miss. Damn. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I didn't mean to tell him to fucking defend, but sure, that works. Good, his attack power went back to normal. Oh, you use fire. Ow. Yeah, and due to story or things, um, I don't think we're getting her back due to the story. Of what's been happening. Yeah, she's dead. Uh, at least that's what they said, and that's why Serena now has all the offensive powers that Veronica had. She now can... Serena can do everything Veronica could do. Miss. God damn it! Ow. And with this fireball. The only problem is that Serena still kind of lacks magic might. So, like, you can give her something, like, the, the heavy stats that Veronica used and things like that to increase that, but then she'll start lacking in her healing, so it's one or the other. It's hard to balance her, even though it's weird that, you know, why to do that, because Reb, Reb is pretty much the, the balanced one of the two mages. You know, I don't mind a good fight, as long as it gives me some good experience like that. Oh, hey, another! <laughs> it's just like, alright, that was a good fight. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> Let's fight it again. Keep getting experience and stronger. Ow. Two K your sap. Yeah, this. I had a lot, a lot of shit in mind way back when. Damn it. Yeah, he lost that beneficial effect. Good. We have fire resistant now. Take hot. Take hot. <laughs> Why is that your spell casting yell when you're giving us a buff? What are you saying, cock? Take cock. That's an ancient fruit. Nice. I think I was doing something like that. I don't remember, though. Do not give in. That's <laughs> grown yet? Yeah, I think I recall it like taking a while. Damn. 
The Hustle Dance! It sells for 3k each. Nice. Yeah, I remember it selling for a pretty decent amount. Jesus. Definitely hit hard and lost a lot of his health. Not the sandstorm. Just gonna turn it into a bunch of it, or a bunch of it into jam. Nice. I'll zap him. Hustle! May heaven's winds propel thee hence! I like fighting these guys because it's just a nice challenge and you get like 4,000 experience. And there's a fireplace way off over here, so we can just keep healing up and get a, uh, and then fight him again. Heal up and get our MP back. Fucking smack that thing out of my way. Oh, hey, the old Spitzfire's still here if I ever wanted to do that quest. You can come here and just rest. Get the merchant's back. Glad he hasn't, you know, died at all. It's been a really long time. Like, I haven't touched Stardew in a really long time. I should make that for her so she has a better, slightly better headpiece. Ooh, goddess tiara. Saint's dress. We actually have that, don't we? Do I need pale pearls. Damn it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I remember having, like, a shit ton of eggs, a shit ton of mayo. Ridiculous when I played. So what do I need for this thing? I want to try to get this, and if I, I'm gonna probably uh, have to. Need sparkly sap. I have to look into the thing. Oh, this material. Battleground has them. Blood Bonnet have them. So I think I'll find it at night, possibly, in these locations. I can also just purchase it. Bet the fucking one place has it. I wouldn't be surprised. Go check it out. I want to see. They always have a lot of those things that I want there. But yeah, I haven't touched Stardew when it updated. Now I know it has multiplayer and things like that. My friend and I was planning on doing that. But it never, uh, it never really happened. And one of my other friends, me and her, were going to play it, but then I don't talk to her anymore because, well, she stopped talking to me, so. Never happened. A lot of things that were, uh, a lot of plans that just never happened.
Dude, I wish I had the answer to why. Like, I, every female it seems like I start to become friends with just either treat me as, like, I'm not even a friend. Or they just, uh... They just stop talking to me. And I'm usually, like, a very open, honest, nice guy. But apparently that's, uh... Good friend material, I guess, when it comes to people. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> ah, sparkly sap. Seems like anybody that's female that I talk to is just it, it happens all the time. We'll start to be friends, and then about like a few weeks into being friends, it's like their other friends are more important, which I'll understand. And I'm like, okay, they know I'm longer. But then after a year or two of me still being friends with the said person and nothing's changed, I'm still treated as like an acquaintance that they just barely know, even though we talked a bunch and or worked in the same environment. It's just, it just turns into, uh, let's buy more. It just turns into like, why? No, I don't, it's confusing. So I usually just don't beat myself up over it too much anymore. It seems like that's just how I'm treated by a lot of people, so. Alright, so we got the sap. Need a pearl. And the sapphire. Or whatever, the savvy sapphire. not fought whatever it said it was. It, I mean, it tells me what the most material. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's what I do. Yeah, I mean, I, I tr like, I'll, I'll always get the, uh, my favorite thing is, um, is the, uh, look what this guy is up. Oh. Um, my favorite thing is, uh, I'll get the whole, like, you never talk to me anymore, and it's like we haven't talked in, like, a week or two, and the person has the same exact ability to talk to me as I do. And so it's like, okay, and then when I try to talk, they're not really that interested in talking to me about much. Really should have have my phone to do this because my computer is going to be very slow at loading shit right now when I stream. I can somehow play games on this and stream, but I forbid I Google something. to see what the fuck the oh those fuckers they might drop the savvy sapphire hmm i wonder if it has to be those types specifically you will text all your mother you never call and i'm like i'm the only one that calls yeah i get it with like so many people and i'm like okay and then when i actually make the attempt to talk to people in or said person it's just um, it turns into the same shit of, like, um, it turns into the same thing where it's like, uh, where it's just like, you never talk to me, they have all the power in the world to do it, but it's whatever. Oh, it says that I can only get these types of guys. And fucking post game, but can I get these guys? Will these guys drop shit? Eleven. I want to find where this is. Oh, 
I could fucking type. My mother, my dad, my aunt, my dad's side. Yeah, I. I mean, I'm not like the most talkative person. I completely understand, but like, it's just funny when I'm actually trying to. Uh, like when people like I try to build friendships up and talk to people, and it's just like they just cast me aside. I'm like, well, all right. Well, I'm just gonna hope I fucking find this, I guess, because apparently I'm just uh, I don't see. Uh, and one, I just want to know locations for these things, and they're just like, no. Yeah. And that's just the tough part. It's getting out to meeting people, because it just, it doesn't happen very, uh... It's not happen often. I don't even remember the fuck this city. I don't even think I can go to here. Yeah, I can't. Alright, well, I don't know. I'll just have to... I, I hope to find one eventually. This day and age, it's like really difficult with that. Yeah. It just hasn't happened, you know, it's just very weird. I don't seem to, uh, I seem like even though they're around my age, I seem to meet the same people that just don't have a mature mindset, I guess, of how to treat people. Because apparently it's just like, talk to them until they're done with them and then just don't talk to them anymore. And I'm like, okay, I didn't do anything to you. I'm myself. I'm... Pretty much how I am on stream is almost like how I am in real life, like, in person, except I, I'm a little more, a little more quiet, like, I'm a little more toned down. Pale Pearl. What I need for that one. I'm a little bit more laid back, um, than how I am on stream. Pale pearl, or pink pearl, it's a pale pearl. Found in Lonolulu. Which I don't know if we can even fucking go. We haven't actually been to Lonolulu since the whole incident. I don't even know if it exists anymore. I'm actually gonna go see. I'm about as much of an asshole in chat stream in IRL, yeah. I'm just not, uh, I don't know. People are weird. I don't beat myself up about it. People don't want to waste their time, then they're not going to waste their time. I'm not going to waste my time with people. Just move on. If I let it bother me so much, then, Jesus, I probably would, one, not be streaming, one, and second, I'd probably be in, like, horrible, horrible, like, depression because of it. And I just, I move on from it real fast. Honolulu is over there. We haven't had any reason to go over there, I think. I'm not saying I'm, like, completely not depressed. I have things I'm very depressed about, but I, uh... I try to do a lot of things to distract myself. If it gets bad, then, of course, I talk to somebody about it, but... I'm, uh... But for the most part, I'm okay. Yeah, I haven't hit that far yet, but there are times where it's just horrible. 
my the biggest depression like i went on like a three-year like depressed and when my father passed away but after that i kind of like picked myself back up and now i just try to go on with it i i pretty much just go on with like a serious yet carefree attitude about things at this point Oh, right, okay, sure. You know, I'm just trying to go somewhere. You know, at least this makes more sense on how you got on my ship. Get those fucking tentacles out of my face. Goddamn die, King Squid. Did I do all right? You didn't even do anything, Serena. Score one for the good guy. I don't know. That's also one of the big reasons um, why I would never do face cam really like at all like there's and I, I don't usually would say never because there might be like that one time it'll happen but i'm probably never going to because i've uh i've had like my entire life has just been revolved around things being based on looks and so i've wanted to always when i started streaming i was like i'm probably never gonna do a face cam because i want everything to be focused on personality the way it should be when it comes to dealing with people Yeah, a lot of people never notice. Everyone thinks the most happiest guy in the room is fine until they realize it. It's always, it's always the guy that's trying the hardest to make people happy is probably sometimes the most depressed. And you never know. It's always unexpected. Depression is something that's very hidden around, around people. I think I'm coming here because I really want to get a pearl. <laughs> in my face. Nobody needs to see it. The only way it'd probably ever be seen is if for some reason I ever go to a goddamn, like, con, like a PAX or a Twitch con or whatever the hell way down the line, but I don't think that'll ever happen. I'm not really one to travel. Scare me, scare me, uncle. Man, I thought you were the one fisherman from the village. Ain't nothing to find. Got five of those things? All right. I think it was one little island near the country up north. It's crazy cold. Some small island all the way up north and a... God damn it. We'll just get some. Yeah, sadly, it's just how it is. I've grown up with so many, like, being around so many people that it's just, it's all looks.
I'm shoot a slay a tentacular and bring back the hound to help prove the fisherman Shanlin could catch. It's hang around the coast to the north near the little island east of Ordre. Oh my god, I gotta fucking beat it with temper tantrum. God fucking damn it. Probably won't do this, but I don't really even care about the reward, so. And if you're selling anything different. Cool sounding axe. So yeah, it's already one in the morning. I'm just like doing a few little things here and there and uh Probably probably call it soon here. Just because I've been sick like all week and this today is like the first day that I'm actually like not nauseous. I don't feel like I'm gonna vomit constantly. So I uh I was like, well I'm gonna stream for a little bit, but I don't wanna overdo it. Ah. I was about to say. I'm going to have to hit hay soon, because i got to sleep. i got to get some rest, because i got to heal for, up for my weekend of work and bullshit and dealing with people I don't want to deal with. That's the only reason I hate my job. It's just the, my coworkers. I'm just tired of dealing with, like, fake people, you know? It gets tiring after a while of dealing with people that are just lying to your face constantly. I'm like, I'm just not in the mood for it, man. Oops. Like, I, I'm tired of going in and having to be somebody, like, a fake, like, I'm all happy with you and stuff, and then you're going to pretend to be my friend and good co-worker, but the moment I leave, I can go fuck myself, apparently. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I didn't do anything to you. Man, I really wish I could get that fucking sapphire. I hope I find another one. I think I only need one. Got me to use that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally do everything I can to not seem like I'm a tip. Because in school, I gave off a very strong vibe of just, like, everyone fuck off. Because I don't want to deal with it. But I hated everyone at school. Because everyone was just pieces of shit. But I literally give off, like, a vibe of just, like, I'm, I like to talk. I like to goof off. But I'm very serious about getting my work done as well. So, like, I, I joke around, I'll dance around the music, act like a big goofball, but when it's about work and I need to get it done, I'll get it done. And I'm very serious about it. Um, and, uh, but apparently I'm just, like, a monster to everyone. Like, just fucking stay away. <laughs> Don't fucking look at them. Don't even, like, eye contact. You would have thought I dated every man and woman in my workplace and we broke up. Because of how awkward it seems when I'm there. It's like, don't make eye contact, don't look at him, don't talk to him. <laughs> Only talk to him when I need something from him or it's work-related. Other than that, no. I'm like, no, I, I, I dated all of you, the Jesus Christ. I must be really good and horrible at starting and ending relationships. That's probably why every all my friends like that are female... Stop talking to me. For all I know, I've somehow started up a relationship without even knowing. That would be my luck. Yeah, that's totally what it is. That's how it really feels with one of my quote-unquote friends um, at work. It's just, it feels like, um, 
you would have thought we had a really horrible breakup, but I've like I've never I've only hung out with the person one time outside of work, and they, it, it seemed like everything was fine when we hung out. It didn't seem awkward, but apparently, when we're at work, it's like fuck this guy. Keep don't don't make eye contact. make another one? Can she have two of them? Take away her one emerald that we have, which I think I was going to use for shield. Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, man. No, oh, no, people are weird. <laughs> man, it's going to be really awkward if anyone from work figures out who I am and they figure out that I do this. So, man, I'm probably fucked. <laughs> I'm going to, like, go into work. They're all going to stare at me like, we watched your stream. Bullshit, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, people from work? Fuck you. Thank God no one does. Every time, it's like the same thing. Uh, where it's like, uh, okay, so you can't wear the same accessory? How's it going, Lister? Uh, but, yeah. It'd be really weird. They'll just all stare at me. And they're just like, yeah, right, you didn't watch my stream. Where's my viewership, huh? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I guess we can give it to Rab. Did I make the right thing? I make a prayer ring. I make that? What the fuck did I just make? I'm getting there. As best I can to get ready for work for the weekend. Did I make the ring or did I just make the wrong thing? What did I make? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, there was no way I didn't. No, I made the shield, you moron. Jesus. I'm literally having a brain drainer moment. There, nice shield. Holy hell, how'd I confuse a ring and a shield? I thought I made a second ring because I was thinking about making two rings and instead I made the shield. Holy hell, where am I? Anyone else smell toast? I'm losing my fucking mind. I joke and say, does anyone smell toast? And then I, you know, somehow forgot that I have no sense of smell. I wouldn't even know what toast smells like. Mine there to begin with. My mind's usually out the window when I get closer to work weekends. So no, my, there was never one to begin with. It's like, I got a shit in my pants. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to fight more of these big fucking cactus guys. I don't know if there's any of them closer to, to the camp, but I kind of want to fight more. 
Just because of the experience and battle knowledge. Hello, I'm back. A little burn, yeah, I do. Yeah, I smell burnt toast. Yeah. We've already gotten better. Level up. I like how she just got 46 points again. Like she's just back. She gets so many points right now. I don't know if that's just because she has to catch up to all of us, or that's because she's two people now, pretty much. Oh, good. Sploosh got 30 points. What are they going to get with him? I guess continue to see what that's going to be. Why not? Girl... All HP of all members. That's going to cost me a shit ton of MP, but if I'm in an emergency, sure, I'm going to need that. Yay, yeah, dra Dragon's Blessing. Big. Reina, I, again, so I don't even know what I'm doing with you at this point, because there's like... There's like so many fucking things. Like things that I'm not even really using with you. There. You're not even using heavy wands. Uh, Jade, was there anything for Jade? I guess we were just kind of our way up with her. And Drick, anything going on with you? It's so awkwardly quiet while I'm doing this. What happened to you? Oh, taking a nap, Principal. And there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. I like how fake his chest is. It looks like if I put on like one of those uh like outfits to make me look like I had muscles, but I don't. Oh, truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? Uh, hmm. Oh god, don't fuck him. Uh, you're a special. I like how no one sees it but my oh, guy. Changing. What are these ruins, anyway? And how come they're out here all on their own? Huh? Oh, they have been here forever. Since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers. Or some such nonsense. Oh god, don't come in his mouth, please. They were built for something very important. I just know it. Ooh, maybe some kind of stage. What a place to perform. Can you imagine? Yeah, out in a desert with no one around. You 
aren't wrong about the runes, your highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Now the happy music is gone, because this thing is summoning a monster, probably. No, I'm just... Hello, friend. Yes. Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself, and we all know what that means. What? You want a blowjob? <laughs> got like a hooker following me or a prostitute constantly oh dear god huh? what's happening <gasps> the lantern Damn, if only I could talk and tell them what I saw. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's falling! It's falling! It's falling! We're gonna be squished! Oh, dear lord. Lord Robert, it is not safe here. We must fall back. Oh, give me a minute, will you? I think I can make out what the runes are saying. Car, last, moss. Please, Lord Robert, it is too dangerous. What is happening? Uh, this is what happens when you get someone pregnant. <sighs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that light and how we lost it. You could have just came down and killed me, but okay. Was that the Sword of Shadows? The lantern. It has disappeared. The star was named for Erdwin, but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes? Was the foul creature wielding the sword not... Uh, that was no foul creature, Sir Hendrik. That was the savior of Galopolis. Yes, a giant glowing purple fuck. The, falling star. Hmm. the kingdom is saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. I must return to the city and spread. Can't fucking stand this guy. <laughs> yes. Calasmus. <sighs> hmm. What could that mean? Hmm, why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom, maybe he knows something. Oh no, the guy doesn't know how to put a shirt on. Huh? <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Touch it. Love it. Well, at least the horse waited. All this fucking dramatic shit happened and the horse just stayed. Oh, 
Probably gonna just zoom. I never know why I don't, but... I always think, maybe there'll be a cutscene if I don't. You never know. I practice my horse riding skills for Red Dead. I was going to say, hopefully this is where they wanted me to go. I wasn't really paying attention. It is a relief to see you safe, my friends. When the star shattered, I could not help but fear the worst. Faris has explained all that came to pass out upon the sands. It seems a savior appeared and destroyed the lantern before it could lay waste to my kingdom. Aye. Though, I wouldn't go calling him your savior just yet. Anyway, never mind that now. There's something I want to ask you, Your Majesty. The runes on the barrier around the star, they spelled out a word, Kalasmus. Does that mean anything to you? Kalasmus? Hmm. Sadly, it does not. Well, if it was written in the side of a star, you can bet it means something. Something important. Hmm. Yeah, but we can't go letting it distract us too much. Mordigan's not going to defeat himself. We've work to be getting on with. Lord Robert, your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows is a noble one. The people of Galopolis... I was hoping the Lord of Shadows would have put a shirt on this man. It still hasn't worked. Yes. And if there is ever anything you require, you need only ask. After all, I still owe you a favor. Well, my dick's not going to suck itself. Oh, I clean forgot. We need to ask the Sultan about that hammer that used to belong to Erdwin. Why couldn't they just do it in the cutscene? Why'd I have to go and talk is to him? Is there something I can help you with, Lord Robert? As a matter of fact, there is. I need to pick your brains about a giant hammer that's supposed to be kept here in Galopolis. We're going to need it to defeat Mordigan, and apparently, you lot have had it since the Age of Heroes. Hmm. A giant hammer, you say? I mean, oh, that yes. is what my dick you is. a forging hammer. It has been in the royal family for generations. Faris, fetch the forging hammer from the treasure room. Feel like it's not gonna be there. And the last time you gave me something that was part of your royal family, we kind of like all this happened. Wow, it was actually there. Aye, this is it. This is Erdwin's hammer, the one we saw in the vision. Father, do you truly intend to give the hammer away? We had intended to sell it in order to fund this year's really? sale. <gasps> Silence! Insolent boy! <clears throat> the forging hammer is one of Galopolis's greatest treasures. It has been handed down through the generations since time immemorial. But if we must relinquish it, then so be it. You are the only ones who can defeat the Lord of Shadows. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. My nurse 
once told me that the power of the spirit of the land resides within the forging hammer. It is said that it can beat even the it's hardest of metals into shape. At least, I think that is how the story goes. Well, I hope it helps you on your quest. I feel like that was very simple. I feel like there should have been a little bit more to that than just being like, Hey, you got a hammer. Yeah. It's like, hey, we're going to sell this. No! You're not supposed to know that. We'll sell something else. If I go up north, I'll look and see if there are any shards there for you. I can tell if it's daytime or nighttime right now in this damn game. Oh, let's do it. It's, uh, it's, it's night time. Oh, of course, a metal slime helmet. It's not like I already have one of those, but you know what? I'll fucking do it. I've never ridden a horse in my life! Damn it. Ow! Damn, these guys are vicious. I'm trying to drift my horse, damn it. Damn it. I slap. Fuck me. That's not good. Ugh. Oh! Well, I'm in first! Get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. New record! <laughs> so I imagine it's Mario Party. Congratulations! Yeah, you did it. No. Like no point in having it right now because no one else is gonna wear it. But yay, we got it anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we want to go back up north, because, uh... Ch -ch -ch. Doom. Uh, 
that I might be able to find shards or whatever for that guy, so I might as well try to see if I can find it while I'm around here. See if I can do it. Not sure where they would be, but... Run around and look, I guess. There should be something over here. <laughs> A little random. It could be all the way up there in the further north. These fucking guys. I'll head further up. Oh, that's a dune berry. Come back to the guy. He's like, hey, I found one of those shards you were looking for. That is a dune berry. But the same color. And crab just popping out. seeing anything. Ah, oh, here we go. Here it is! I found a lantern shard. Sweet! Now we can take it back to that guy. Or I do, let's fight some things. Because why not? Yeah! Think like, I don't know what hurt it more, the whip or my that scream. Still alive. Watch out, fireball. Ow. That's just rude, man. What what, a, what did I do to you besides hit you a couple times? Our triumph was never in doubt. Eric leveled up. Like, hey guys, remember me, Eric? Hyperexians. Dear God. Ow. This <laughs> is fuck you, Eric. By the way, her wand is glow sticks, by the way. That's what Serena's using for weapons, is two glow sticks. But she uses wands. Apparently when you find glow sticks, you're like, I got a wand! Suddenly you're just fucking Harry Potter. God damn with this fire. Oh my god, someone give these guys a mint. Be 
victory! <laughs> Love your song. <laughs> Fuck that guy. We can just zoom back to Jalopolis. Gaspacho. <laughs> Leviosa. Oh man. All right. Let's go to this guy. He's right up here. Give me the things I need. You know, I found you your shard that you were looking for. Give me my whatever the fuck, a gate of evolutions. My all three of them. That's actually not a shard that you were thinking. I actually just gave you a piece of my own shit. Called it a shard. Alright, now we go to Hado. Perplex me. A forge within the mountain now is not the time. A beast is abroad. Seek Miko in the temple. Learn there our, of our plight. Maybe I want to go to the steam bath. Oh. I really got much now, do you? <laughs> They sell, like, all the ores here, too. I really should have paid attention to who sells what, and I just never really focused on that. You want me to go to the shrine, but I'm going to go there last after I go up and see what this person wants for a side mission. The side quest. Monster scared off our our stuff, and the future is looking very weak, or whatever he was saying. Jesus. Came all the way to sample waters here and try, I suppose, regular reducing properties, but I must have experienced something rather cold, literally. Need. Uh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, did that just say I'm gonna get Gubricant? Known as lava lumpling. Lava lampling and on Mount Huji. Right, I guess I can go check out Mount Huji. I might have read it as Mount Hui. I don't know what the hell who he is. But. 
For all I know, that's probably what it is. My lack of being able to read and pronounce things properly. Fuck me. <laughs> oh. I like how you can just live in this place and there's a fucking Cyclops right here. You guys have, like, no guards. There's no one to protect these towns, and you're telling me that there's a Cyclops that just has no, like, fuck that town. I don't want to go in there. Believe me, I... The Gold Skull Tullas, or whatever the hell they're called in Zelda, I call them Gold Skull... Because I just... I, I don't pronounce. It sounds like someone stuck a dick in my mouth while I'm trying to read the name. The lava lumps, the things they wanted me to get? Oops. This place sucks! Yeah. Yeah. Catalog. Ah, uh, fiery brimstone. I guess I can't come up here yet. The enemy I'm looking for hasn't spawned. Alright. Now is pass out another Stardew term. <laughs> like getting the hay. But alright, G-Man. I'm probably going to be wrapping it up here in just a sec anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> 